UGD coming at you with the MagnumTargets.com targets that I bought on the eBay and finally got out to shoot these on the Sunday and uh, frankly was a little disappointed. These are A36 steel, which is a mild steel, not your AR500. There is a uh, price jump when you go to the AR500. Read the description, said it'll handle up to 45 caliber. Now I only shoot uh, 9mm and 22s, so obviously it should work. Got it out to the range. Uh, our range boss took a look at him, said, hey, yeah, hang him up. Let's see what we can do with him. And uh, after uh, you know, 100 rounds or so, we went ahead and took a little peek at him, and uh, that's where the problem set it. These babies are denting. Yeah, kind of surprising. Um, it's one thing for it to dent with 9mm. As you can see here, this is the plate that we shot uh, primarily with 9mm. I got some 22s cooked on there, but uh, yeah, there's obviously some dents as I roll in the close ups on that. And then we uh, pulled off the 22, and the 22, yeah, had some dents there. And that was just really, really disappointing. Range Master stopped us and said, you know, once those dents get a little bit larger, you're going to run the risk of ricochet. Now, when you're shooting with your 12 uh, year old son, that's a no go, period. Not going to do it. To give you an idea what uh, Polly was shooting, uh, Paulie was shooting the Smith & Wesson M&P 22 Compact. And, uh, fellas, uh, I've got a first look on this and, you know, wasn't overly impressed. Just a nice gun, nice used gun for 250 bucks. Uh, this gun is now sitting at uh, well over 400 rounds in two range sessions without any malfunction. So check out the video of the first look. The range report will be coming out. So we were shooting the MMP 22 Compact Made in America with CCI Blazer ammo. And that's an ammo that you wouldn't think would uh, be too hot for steel, but apparently it's going to dent the steel. Next step was to contact Magnum Targets through the eBay, because that's where I purchased it, and uh, explain to them what happened. And I sent that email on Sunday night. Obviously didn't expect a follow-up until Monday, but uh, went through all day Monday. So uh, sent a second email. I'll roll those in. And uh, finally got a response on Tuesday. Let me uh, let me check with my husband, who apparently is the owner, and get back with you. Well, Tuesday went through, and uh, finally, after I got home from work about 4 o'clock, I sent another email. And this time, I thought I'd uh, go ahead and include that we do a YouTube channel, see if that got any kind of response. And uh, the response was, please call us. So I uh, spent a few minutes on the phone with the owner of Magnum Targets, and, uh, you know, he frankly didn't seem to... Uh, that concerned said I probably should buy AR500 and uh, that he did offer AR500 well you know that's not very satisfying I mean this is uh, this product as listed will handle up to 45 caliber and when you're putting 22s on it and it's denting uh, that's an issue and for your range boss to tell you to take the targets down because you're going to risk ricochet yeah you got to stop at that point and uh, as I roll in the footage, uh, you'll note that we shoot from a shooting house. And, uh, you know, it didn't have any splash coming back at us. And for anybody concerned with distance, 17 yards. That's what we were shooting at, 17 yards. And uh, for anybody concerned on the 9mm, we were uh, shooting the Winchester 115 grain white box. Sorry, my knife slipped trying to open the damn box. So really nothing high velocity at the thing. We were just uh, plinking away and, yeah, disappointed. So, uh, you know, long story short, I think I'm going to have to return these. You know, $39 is not a lot of money for three targets, but, uh, you know, it's still $39 and it didn't perform up to the listing on the eBay. If anything does change on this, I'll do a follow-up video on this and uh, give you some more information. But uh, take a look at those close-ups. Take a look at the range of videos and, uh, you know, decide for yourself. This is UGD bringing you the MagnumTarget.com range report and disappointment. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you think that I'm wasting your time and my time, go ahead and hit the dislike and uh, please subscribe. You want to die with a man's gun, not a little CC gun like this.